Moroccan food night. As requested by many. Where are we going? Shokran restaurant in Chicago. Woohoo! We even got ourselves Moroccan outfit. <laughs> Michelin recommended. Famous. What are you craving for since we left Morocco three weeks ago? I have myself a tagine. They have harira here, couscous, royal combination lamb, chicken, merguez, sausage, better couscous. Everything's here. Mm -hmm. Chicken bastilla, kefta. <laughs> we lost your mom already? She was super excited to come. This is a famous food critic in Chicago. He's on TV, Channel 7. And this is from Check Please. It's a public radio TV show about different restaurants that people try and they enjoy. I just have a couple of goals to reach here. All I want to do is start it. That's nice, too. Yeah. I do guest lectures on Moroccan history at the Paul University. Yeah, because the history part of the syllabus only starts in 1895. Like nothing happened in Morocco before 1895. Really? Maybe in other places, but. Couscous. These are all couscouses. I like couscous. I'll eat anything else I think I would be good with. So have you decided you know what you want? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tastia del Jej, Briwa, Wahed Harira, Tajin, Marrakesh, Hali, is that Hali? Well, how would you say that? Hali, no, like Hali. Helmi. Helmi. Okay. Helmi. Helmi. Helmi is, is lamb. Okay, Marrakesh. Well, I, I tell people if you go to Morocco and ask for lamb Marrakesh, nobody's going to know what you're talking about. No, no, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that yeah. is lamb, jibana, or qaq, or so does it mean? Lamb, jibana, qaq. With peas and artichokes. Couscous, the lamb. Yes, yeah. The sweet one, sweet chicken? Yeah. yeah. Too gros, too gros. Because uh, more it's fire. It's fire. fire. Sweet fire. Sweet fire. Ate? Of course. Ate the nana? Of course. Ate nana, you want tea? I think I will have a Sprite, just because the tea will keep me awake. Anyway. Very Moroccan pillow here. <laughs> you know what them. reminds me this of? When it's white, it's sweating blanket, remember? It's like white and it's like a cover for a bed and they decorate it with the, oh. how you call this? Sequence. Sequence and all kind of stuff and they use it for wedding night, like to put it on bed. I think we order a good amount of food. Mm -hmm. you know. Couscous. It was really nice to see all these Moroccan pillows and couches. Felt like home. It tastes like lentil soup. Mm. It's very good. You feel like it. It's like Morocco harissa soup. Just like the harira I cooked. No, mine was much thicker than this. Chickpeas? Chickpeas. Lentils? No, rice. yeah, lentils. Mm -hmm. And is that rice or is that noodle? How are the olives? Very good. And the bread is delicious. It's warm, right out of the oven. Tomato. Celery is a must in the harira. Mm -hmm. Tastes like Moroccan harira. Very flavorful. I never knew how much I'd miss harira. So good. I'm gonna make some at home this week. <laughs> She's Italian. She likes olives. She's not like us. Mm -hmm. Harissa. You gonna eat it Moroccan way? A bit more tomatoey than in Morocco, but delicious. Less spicy, I would say. People that have been to Morocco, they, they always asking me, why well, are you not going to pour the tea, you know? <laughs> My answer usually is, this is America and their unliability issues. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. You do not want to burn somebody. Yeah, yeah, of course. I've been here long enough to know better. Your lawsuits for that. 
I actually walked from Marrakesh to watch the Zet. Took oh us nine days to get there. You walked? Literally walked in a straight line. Wow. Badly planned, or we almost died a couple of times. <laughs> we met some Berbers, they have no idea who the king of Morocco is. They know there's a dude named the king. <laughs> but in their life, yeah. there's just no government. They're just the happiest, smiliest people I've ever met in my life. Wow. An amazing trip. That's good. Okay. Saha. That's delicious. Oh my gosh, I love sweet tea. It's so good. Yeah, this Moroccan style. This is tea. delicious. It's got plenty of <laughs> sugar in it. It's sweet, just like I like it. That's oh, good. Taste it. It's, it's so good. It's got so much sugar, it's almost thick. <laughs> it's very really good. It's more like syrup, no? It's very delicious. No, it's, no, but you can tell it's got a lot of sugar because it's sweet. Look around. Ten minutes. There's, there's two things I'm slightly ashamed of. I've never been anywhere else in Africa other than Morocco. <laughs> yeah. While I've been all over Western Europe. Yeah. Um, and I barely speak Berber. And my mom is Berber. A hundred percent African. Mama Africa. This smells so sweet. This is what you like, right? This is your... Oh, it's steaming. It's very, like, light. You see, it's just, like, falling apart. <laughs> you didn't practice with uh, Omar. Omar. Yeah, one day we made the Bastilla video and Omar was cutting the Bastilla half an hour. Mm -hmm. It's a real chicken Bastilla. Very good. This, how do you say it? Bastilla? Chicken Bastilla. Very good. Bastilla. Very good. I wouldn't think like sweet it. would be good, but it's very good. Exactly. You wouldn't picture it being chicken. Chicken, like I've never had sweet, sweet chicken. Sweet and sweet pastry yeah. kind of, but sweet. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very good. I usually prefer like seafood, but when we talk about Bastilla, I prefer chicken Bastilla just because it's sweet. Mm -hmm. Tastes like Morocco. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Al Yazi taught me the Bastilla. Yeah, so you peel a little bit of pastry and then you eat with hand. One for mom. Thank you. Oh, it's really good. Mmm. Vermicelli, shrimps. Is this olive? He said some olives in there. Bismillah. It is so different. I really like it. I can I can taste the vermicelli in there too. It's very delicious. Very delicious. I don't like the close-ups. <laughs> okay. I've never had anything like this before. It's really delicious. It's unique. And it's called Briwats. Briwats. Mm -hmm. There's different kinds of Briwat. This is the seafood one with shrimps. There's olives in it though. I didn't see any olives yet. Oh, I'd say so. <laughs> You're picking olives out? <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> Lamb water. Thank mm. you. Mm. Smells really good. Look at that piece of lamb. Wow. It smells really good. Mm. Thank you. Oh, mm. look at that. Yeah, this meal. Let's first. Ladies first. Oh, wow. Okay. I already nibbled on one of those almonds and it tasted like it was just freshly toasted. It was amazing. Couscous, the chicken, almonds, all the sweets. Look at all this chicken. I just want a small piece of chicken. There you go. I'm just gonna try these first. Mm. Yeah, it's good. It's sweet and creamy. Creamy? Sauce. Like the sauce is like very like thick. Not creamy, but like good. I don't know what I'm saying. We took some of the tagine and there's peas and artichoke hearts and the lamb came right off the bone. It's very tender looking. So good. So good. Mm -hmm. Flavorful. The lamb just fell right off the bone. It's tender. But mom, you gotta do it like this. This is how you eat tajin. Uh, it's okay. I never eat it like that. <laughs> Get some of the lamb. Oh yeah, it just falls right off there. Mm -hmm. It fell right off the bone. Mm. Good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Very good. These are really good too. I miss tajin. Very good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, the chicken's really tender too. And the couscous looks delicious. Artichoke hearts. 
I thought they were going to be like mushy. They're good. Mm -hmm. That's because they're fresh. They're not in the can. Mm. My canned ones are mushy, but these are fresh. They're delicious. Mm. Thumbnail. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> mm. Makes it look like I ate the whole thing. <laughs> Oh, it's just falling apart, the meat. Yeah. That's crazy, huh? Super tender. Oh, you're done. <laughs> done. <laughs> <laughs> so how is the couscous? Very, very good. I haven't had couscous in a long time. It's very good. I've never had it with this beautiful topping of chicken and chickpeas and almonds. It's very good. Yeah, a lot of times when we have couscous in America, it's like cold mm -hmm. and in a salad. and I've made it in a salad with peppers and tomatoes, but not... Not like this, it's delicious. A sauce. <laughs> Marco. Sauce is the key. Yeah. If you've been following along, my last Moroccan meal was this sandwich, this cold beef sandwich on Royal Air Maroc. And I don't want that to be my last Moroccan meal, so I'm very happy to be having this right now. This is so good. Mmm. It's similar to the Bastilla because we have the almonds and the sweet, but... Yeah, we're kind of going with the team, eh? <laughs> <laughs> now we're talking. Mm -hmm. Now we can see the steam coming out of yeah. there and the meat. I'm gonna take this. You gonna take it? <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Everything's delicious. That's the tagine to mom. Yeah. Just, you just cut, cut it with a spoon. Thank yeah, you. it's so, it's so have a little bit of um, You gotta get the sauce. And the artichokes. Yeah. And take some peas, please. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna get some peas, thank you. It's beautiful. Look at this color, pink and green. Yeah, we got some eating to do. Yeah, this, I thought it's gonna be like half of this size. Mm -hmm. Shokran Vizef to Shokran for having us here tonight in Chicago. Great taste of Moroccan food right here on Irving Park Road. And thanks to my mom for taking us down here and trying some Moroccan food with us. Andrea for filming. And also our waiter, we can't name him, but he had great entertaining stories and inspiration. So thank you so much to everyone that made this possible. Halid for inviting us over here today. So thank you and thank you for watching, of course. Please drop a comment, put a request for a video, and we'll see you next time. And if you made it to this point, definitely subscribe. See you. Shokran, Chicago. Say bye-bye.